Belonging versus fitting in. Now, as I have carefully danced around the edges of this topic this week, I am reminded of those awkward middle school years. Who am I kidding? Awkward is an understatement, even for a self-proclaimed cool kid like me. We are all born with the intrinsic desire to belong, to connect, to be loved and accepted just as we are. And now the biggest stumbling block to belonging is this idea of fitting in. Fitting in is comprised of assessing people and places and things, and then somehow contorting ourselves to blend in as much as possible and as quickly as possible. It is the art of figuring out what is expected and then mirroring back those expectations. I don't know if you feel the same way I do, but the idea of doing that day in and day out is exhausting. How do I know this, you may ask? Let's just say I have had a little practice at it. Now belonging, that's a totally different ballgame. Belonging is when we are able to show up fully, mess and all, and are loved, accepted, valued, and treasured, not in spite of all of our stuff, but because of it. The presence of belonging speaks to that deep part within all of us, whose first inclination in the face of vulnerability and authenticity is to pack its bags and run for the hills. The beautiful experience of belonging invites us to pause, get a hold of ourselves, unpack our bags, and stay a while. Now, this doesn't mean that we will have this feeling in every situation we encounter. We may have situations and interactions that don't ooze belonging. The difference in belonging and fitting in is that our self-worth is not on the line. When we are able to stand bravely and authentically, our worthiness is built into the very fact that we are breathing in and out. And when we dial into the awareness of our inherent value, we no longer have to beg, borrow, and steal for our worthiness. It is then that the instant gratification of fitting in is no longer palatable, but instead we will accept nothing less than the radical experience of belonging.